Hello everyone! Today's video is an introduction on how to sketch fashion design with an iPad. I personally love hand-drawn fashion design sketches like this one. And in this video, I want to share some secret tips for drawing them nicely. Here are a few samples like this or like this one. Drawing figures can be difficult, especially with a good balance of the face and legs. For those who feel the same way, once you watch this video, you'll be able to draw it really well, so feel free to make use of it. Alright, first, you need to find some templates you can use as a reference for shapes or body proportions of figures when drawing. Like this one, you can download a template where only the outline of figures is drawn from websites. I also suggest you use this thing called Pinterest to look for your templates. Do you know what Pinterest is? It's an app where you can create a collection of photos you like. I often use this app when I need some ideas and inspiration for my design work. But anyway, you can search here on Pinterest. As you can see, many images pop up on the screen, but at the top, there's a search tab. So go ahead and type in these three words, model, figures, and sketch. As you tap on the search button with these three words, you can find many templates with proportion sketches like this one. So keep scrolling and find the one with the poses you like. Once you find your favorite, take a screenshot. And now you can start drawing using the image as a reference. This is the one I took a screenshot of, which is what we are going to use this time. Once you take a screenshot, you can start drawing using drawing app. But the app we are going to use this time is called Procreate, which is my favorite app. How this works is that you can drag and drop your image or template from your camera roll into Procreate. As we are going to draw just one figure, we can erase the rest using the eraser tool. Tap the layer tab where you can adjust opacity and set it to around 10% so you can slightly see it. Add the layer on top and on top of that, use the thin brush to trace the figure. When tracing, you can draw your favorite clothes by tracing the outline. You can just trace the template for the length or shape of the legs. And all you have to do is simply to think about the design of your clothes, so it's really handy. It can be difficult to draw hips with the right proportions or the right size of the face, so I highly recommend this method. Alright, once you have your outline, we are going to start coloring. When coloring, we will use a watercolor brush this time. I introduced some ways to color and procreate and to draw illustrations in my other videos, but what I did was basically dove them all over. But this time, we want to leave the impressions of hand-drawn sketches, and that's why we are using the watercolor brush on purpose, so that it smudges. We can just keep coloring now, so I'm going to fast forward a bit from here.
Alright, at last we are going to add our signature and it will be complete. A tip here would be not to overly color or color to perfection, I think. I roughly color them so that I could leave the impressions of the rough sketches. I also drew a dress version. So I'm going to briefly explain how I did it here as well. Group all the layers for the first one in the same canvas here and hide them. Create a new layer and add a different figure you took a screenshot of from Pinterest area by dragging and dropping. As we did it earlier, delete the figure you don't want using the eraser tool like this. Set the opacity to around 10%. Create a new layer and start drawing the outline. I'm almost done with the coloring, but I realized I made a mistake here when I was about to move on to the next step. I colored the same layer as the online blue. I always split layers when coloring, and the reason I do it this way is it comes in handy if I want to change the color later. Since I color on the same layer, I did it all over again and colored. This happens very often, so make sure not to forget about it. What I suggest here is to lock the layer for outline which will be displayed with the key mark, not letting you color on the layer, so be careful. I want to make the blue color here slightly darker, so in this case, Copy the layer and change the drawing mode to hard light this time. So be a little creative here by setting the hard light while lowering the opacity. Right now we have two blue layers on top of each other. Lastly, we are going to decorate a bit and it will be complete. Alright, we are done! This time, I created two fashion design sketches. I actually created this video hoping to reach out to one of my friends who has recently started doing fashion design, specifically for dresses. I'm not sure if she's watching this video, but if anyone out there is in the same field, I hope this video can be more or less be helpful.
Also, if anyone has any ideas and things you want to do on the iPad, I will be happy to hear them. So feel free to comment down below and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.